back to the channel. I uh, uh, if you follow my last video, you know where uh, we left off. We have these plans, and we'll take a look at them. Yeah, so with the clamp off, this is like what I consider like ideal, uh, ideal epoxy squeeze out on these. This looks really good, except um, I've got to do something right here because it's not quite touching this false rib. Um, so I'll have to get something underneath here and uh, fill that in with a thin piece of, uh, thin piece of wood there. But hey, this is good. So I'm gonna get those. Uh, I'm gonna get those all taken apart, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about what's next. So. I'm going to show you something over here. Uh, I was telling you before, there are a lot of staples in this project, uh, and you have to remove them. So, I guess you don't actually have to remove them. However, when, when I hold the pile of staples in my hand, I realize that. Uh, there's no reason to leave that weight in the airplane and at the same time, uh, you know, they have the possibility of rusting over time and actually weakening a joint, so it's better just to get them out of there. So I have a, this is the uh, tool that I use, just picked it up at Home Depot and so I just get basically under one side of the staple and then just rotate that out of the way, so. find it easiest just to just to do one side and then once I get the uh, once I get the one side taken care of I just come in with a pair of needle nose pliers and I just grab that and rotate it just like that and it comes right out of there so super easy Hit that with a little sandpaper, smooth it out. Once this all gets, uh, once the wing all gets gets all put together and everything, you actually use a spar varnish on everything, and that'll soak in and uh, fill in all of these uh, all of these holes. And I typically do a. Uh, I typically do two coats when I do the spar varnish, but we'll see that uh, on down the road. One I thin out and I put it on and then I come back with a second coat. But uh, yeah, 
just want to get everything nice and sealed. So I'll go ahead and get this other, this other one out of here. One really cool thing is that when you buy your plans from uh, from Team Aircraft, um, they actually send them to you um, as digital PDFs, and uh, that means that I could easily carry them around on my phone. So just keep them in the files section, and then uh, they just stay listed like this, and I can just select on the drawing that I need, um, and it comes up like this, which is actually really cool because you don't have to keep track of all the paper and stuff around your work area. Um, all you have to do is uh, open your phone, find the file, and uh, get the information you need. So the next step um, that we have to do is we have to drill, getting really close, assembling a wing, but what we have to do is drill the uh, Gotta get some of my lumber out of the way. Week before last, I, I cut up all of this uh, dimensional lumber. So I was telling you before about the telling you before about the uh, the root end um, of the spars, and then we've got the where the struts mount here, the hard points. Um, like here's the main spar, and this is the. Uh, this is the rear spar, which has a doubler in here, and then you can see there's a there's a doubler um, down in here as well, uh, and then you get the plywood over it on both sides like that. That's the forward side that has a 16th inch plywood on it, and the back side. And I need to flip this around, um, but I'm going to work on this end first. And so. Uh, these right here grab these guys Get my ribs out of the way here there we go so these two are a match pair right aft forward right aft aft I know it sounds confusing but my system uh, it works for me so I'm okay with it and um, this would be the uh, forward part of the spar so this would this is the one that's going to go here so right aft forward so what happens here you can see on the uh, you can see on the plan this uh, this piece that actually attaches the spar to the fuselage has to be exactly two and three sixteenths from here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a block of wood um, the the eight plus eight plus three quarters, so I have a, I have a full inch here. Um, I'm gonna make a block of wood one inch thick, and I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole exactly two and three sixteenths um, from the end of it so that I can put the, uh, um, I can push, put the block against here, and then I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to align my piece this way and then I'll be able to get that measurement exact so that it, all of them match. And then it basically runs, there's a, drop a pencil. There's a doubler under here that runs underneath this plywood here. And so the, between, the line between that doubler and the three quarter inch spar is what this piece gets centered on. So, so I'll make the block, we'll put a bolt through it, and then I'll be able to position that on here and clamp it uh, in place and then we can take it to the drill press and we'll be able to drill drill these two holes and then because I've already matched these two like this uh, I know that as long as this is flat and I drill it I'm gonna have perfect alignment on the back side uh, because those were kept as a pair as I was doing those so um, next thing I'll do is I'll get the table saw set up, find a piece of wood, and I'll make a, a probably three inch wide 
Yeah. Three inch wide block, about three, four inches long, and uh, get that hole set up two and three sixteenths from the edge of it. And then we'll go from there. Cool. So I've got my two and three sixteenths here. Uh, I have my uh, part with the bolt. So we just have to put that bolt in, and then we line up, uh, line this up right here. figure out maybe what's the best way to go here and it might actually be to uh, attach um, drill the drill one hole and then uh, once I get the outer hole maybe squared up then I should be able to move this and get this inner hole uh, centered up just right so so it's cutting straight through the middle of the hole. I think that's what I'll do. But before I do that, I'm going to actually make a line on the part. I'm going to make a line that's running right down the center of these holes, and I think that will actually help me with uh, help me with my alignment here. So I'll be right back. All right, so I just gave myself a line. Um, so when I put this back together. Now I've got something I can follow. And then when I get set up here, I'll be able to actually get that line running right parallel, parallel, <laughs> running straight over top of the one that's underneath there. Yeah, that's much easier. And I'm going to grab a clamp and we'll get this clamp in place. Alright, so that's how that process goes. And now um, these are ready to come off. Since they're just temporarily stapled on, they'll come off.
Like I hit my mark right on, so that's good. I did notice one thing uh, when I was doing this. It's uh, where this piece, this piece is dimensioned on the plan. This piece, for some reason, is not. Where I, where I put this, I made a mark here where I could see where the end of this is because. What I believe is, I don't know if you can, if you can see this. Let me get in close so you can really see what I'm doing here. It's right here. I missed by that far. I'm not sure how, but it's really not a big deal. But you can see there's the line I made when this was on. Um, let's say I made a line right there. I'm really off by half an inch um, for this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scarf something in here that, uh, that will fit um, right in here and make up that difference and then epoxy that in uh, just for extra security. So when these get epoxied on, uh, this will guess it'll cover it all and uh, it won't be any problem. So it's really not a big deal. Um, but I don't want to leave it like this. I want to go ahead and extend it out, um, out this extra half an inch and and we'll be good all right so that's how uh that's how this process goes so i'm gonna do i've got the other three um spars to basically repeat the same process the only difference is um i can actually um, go ahead and attach i can actually go ahead and epoxy the plywood to the main spar because i'm not sliding any ribs on i'm actually uh uh going to be relieving part of the front of the rib uh, and part of the rear where it, where it goes on here and I'll, sh I'll just show you real quick. All right, so I'm just going to show you real quick how the reason why these can go on ahead of time is because you're actually relieving uh, part of this front rib. I'll move this around this way. You'll be able to see a little easier um, where it crosses over this gusset and the uh, not just the gusset, but you're going to have this. You're going to have one of these in here as well. So where it crosses over both of these, you actually end up removing part of this rib so that so you can actually fit over that. So uh, anyway, that's uh, that's for the future. So so thanks for checking out the channel. Um, Thanks for following along uh, with my aircraft build. I uh, do appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, I invite you to uh, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything. And uh, yeah, and I'll catch you later.